What do you do when you lose the closest thing to you? What is life when everything around you is chaos? When the one thing that gave you solace and guidance is now gone? What does life mean to you at this point? Do you sink or swim? I ask myself this question every day. What does it all really mean? Two fifteen County Line Road, a place I used to once call home. When I look back at this area, I think of peace, serenity, my childhood, just me and my mother in a small little townhouse. In these times, I probably had the biggest feelings of euphoria and balance. These were the days way before the chaos and disaster. But that's all a part of life and its process, right? What is pleasure without pain? Happiness without sorrow. You can't appreciate one without the other. Whenever I come back here, I often reflect on my beginnings. Where I was, who I was, really finding or centering the inner child in me. This is where I grew up. Chapter two. 4.30 4.30 Northwest 89th Street This is truly the beginning When my mom was ready to take me home from the hospital This is the first place she came to 4.30 gave me my foundation My sense of character My morals And confidence in self The beginnings of me as an artist started here and everything I created this far was made right here in this home. Growing up, I bounced around a lot between Miami and New York. But this place always felt like the closest thing to home. The unconditional love that grew from here. The belief that I could be who I wanted to be and achieve all goals in this life came from here. When I look back on my life, my career, and motivations, I guess it was really to become something great and to provide for my family while doing it. I really just create music for my sanity. My art is a way of making sense of my reality and figuring things out about myself all the while while just having fun with it. I guess since losing my grandmother, I'm now one of ready to make this go happen for real. I wake up daily with thoughts like, what does this life mean to you? Is what I'm doing fulfilling my purpose? Is the person I am right now how I want to be remembered? I'm just at a point where I want to succeed. I can't look back on my past, and I can only move forward. As I embark on this new chapter in my life, it feels freeing but I feel the anxiety as well. There are days where I kind of just feel the pressure and days where I feel like I'm gonna run this shit to the top. But overall, I do feel confident about it all. It's something I've been at for years, so shit, I really ain't got no choice. I look at this as a test or a challenge to me, really showing the dedication and faith I had for this dream of mine. I think about my family, my nieces, my nephews, my siblings, my parents, cousins, everybody, especially my grandparents. I know that my grandmother's watching over me. That alone lets me know how hard I gotta go. So the option of, or choice of quitting is non-existent. I gotta do everything I can to make sure this all falls through. Completing the mission is what it all really means to me at this point. You know what's crazy? When I leave, I think everything will hit me. Like, if I come back to visit one time, 
a whole bunch of memories will resurface, but I've been living in this for so long. I love it, it's home. I never, you know what I'm saying, this, this is what made me this person that I am, because the lovely, look at the lovely Sam's Food Mart. This is the corner that everybody used to go to. All these kids and shit. Dear city of Miami, first of all, y'all got too many flies in this shit, but treat me nicer, bruh. And I stayed, man. It's, it's too much chaos. Too much chaos. It's, I gotta go, man. I need peace and serenity. And solace. Bye-bye and fuck you. I love you, though.